Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about speeding up your WordPress site and why you should do it. So as you may know, WordPress is supremely popular out there and one of the complaints against it though is that it can load slow. There's several reasons why a WordPress website can be slow. First of all, you got a database connection you got to deal with. But oftentimes it has to do with a bunch of other things like image size, a code not being properly cached, code not being uh, formatted in a way that's optimal. So in this video, I'm going to give you the top three reasons why you should be concerned about page load speeds, whether it be WordPress or any website. And I'm going to give you a couple of solutions and strategies where you can speed up your WordPress site. So here are the top three reasons why you should be concerned about page load speeds, whether it be WordPress or a normal website. Number one, if the page loads too slow, people are just going to leave your site. This is an old rule of web design and web development going back to the 90s even. If a page doesn't load within three to five seconds, and even that's considered slow these days, people are just going to leave. So you have to be concerned about page load speed so that when people do get to your site, they don't leave. Another reason you should be concerned about page load speeds, it may not be obvious, but from a psychological perspective, when a user comes to a site, think about it, think about it yourself. When you come to a site and the site loads really quickly and it's snappy, this makes you feel pretty good about the site, right? It gives you a positive feeling. Like, boom, okay, okay, instant satisfaction, instant satisfaction. So page load speeds will just create a more favorable impression with people visiting your site. So yet another reason why you should be concerned about page load speeds. So the last reason you should be concerned about page load speeds in your website is Google. Google will literally de-rank you if your pages don't load quickly. So if you're concerned about search engine optimization and page load speeds is a central part of search engine optimization. If you're concerned about Google ranking, getting traffic from Google, you have to be concerned about page load speeds because if the page is too slow, Google is not going to like that and they're going to de-rank you. As I mentioned earlier in the video, WordPress is oftentimes criticized for page load speeds. This can come down to several things. A, how good the server is that you're hosting your website on. B, how optimized are the WordPress themes? Are the images optimized? Is the code optimized? This could be a big job. So the sponsor of this video, 10 Web Booster, has a plugin where you just install a plugin, click on a button, and boom, it optimizes your site, both on the front end in terms of code minification and compression, and on the back end as well. So it's kind of a cool product. Let me give you a quick look at it. So I logged into one of my WordPress sites. I went into plugins and it brings up this add plugins screen and I just searched for 10 web and here it is. So let's install this, see how it goes. So now, so I'll probably speed up the video depending on how long this takes. Oh, actually I didn't have to. Install pretty quickly. Let's activate. Welcome to 10 web website booster. All right. Pretty easy so far. It's analyzing the current score. We'll see what we got. We'll see how it goes. Should we drum roll? Although I remember reading in the docs, oh, right, they analyzed the current score. Now they're optimizing. This could take a couple of minutes. I will speed this up if need be. Oh, see we got a little preview up here. That's pretty cool. Optimizing front end. So I guess the current score was 75. All right, compressing images. All right, we're calculating new score. We're at 0%. 2%. All right, so it's coming in quick. 65%. There we go. Overview of your home page performance. Original score, 75. Mobile score, 57. Ooh, 4.5 seconds load time for desktop. So optimized score. So our mobile score just dropped down. 9.2 seconds versus 8.1. So it did speed up the load time of mobile. Uh, desktop though, big improvement. It went from 75 to 98, 
Went from 4.5 seconds low time to 7 seconds. Not bad. Not bad. So we can explore more here. Here is the dashboard. So this is the free plan, the current. So with the free plan, you get six pages, home page plus five internal pages. And with the Buddhist Pro, which is only six bucks a month, you get unlimited pages. So that's pretty good. So we see a big improvement, especially with the desktop score. Um, it's still analyzing again. So uh, it did pretty good the first time around. Oh, here we go. So mobile score is now at 74, 4.1 seconds. Still a lot faster than it was. I think it was at 9 and uh, low time, 8 seconds. Well, this is fast. So that's pretty good. So it's optimizing, I can see, the uh, speed of load or the load speed as we go through. So let's just go back to the site. That's fast. Huh. Very cool. All right. So what are the main benefits? Automated 90 plus page speed, that's a ranking. So what they're saying is that once you've installed the plugin, within a few minutes, it will optimize your WordPress theme to such an extent that you're gonna get a nice high page speed rank. Optimize core web vitals, higher search engine rankings, as I said, faster page speed, better rankings. And these are the metrics that you can expect based on just a faster load time. So what do they do? They do CSS and HTML minification and compression. So what, what is that? So minification and compression, something you can do manually. You can run it through processors and stuff, but it's a pain in the butt. People do it on the front end uh, manually if you're not using WordPress. This plugin just takes, it, takes care of it for you. Click, bang, Bob's your uncle. You don't have to worry about it. That's kind of cool. JS minification compression. Compression of the lengthy algorithmic JS codes in standard practice. The crunching of JS code, meaning the, remo the removal of all extra spaces and comments, reduces time of downloading the JavaScript, directly improving WordPress speed. Image optimization leans on minimizing file sizes through image compression while simultaneously preserving image quality. 10 webs, image optimizations achieve that and more. Deferred JS and CSS execution. That's an old strategy that I used to implement manually back in the 90s how you position the JS, I won't get into details here, can create a sense of much faster load time. For example, what junior web developers might make and web designers that put all their JS code at the very top of the page, so that it all has to load before the main page loads, which slows down the whole feel of the site, not a good thing. So they take care of all of that kind of tinkering with the code for you, so that's kind of good. Image lazy loading, font swap, critical CSS, Conversion of image web format to WebP. So they're doing all kinds of cool things behind the scenes for you. You don't have to take care of it, you just click on a button. There's much more to this plugin. I invite you to take a look at the link below, check them out. They're free for certain minimal implementations. So if you're one of the many, 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 many people out there who have WordPress and you're concerned about page load speed, and you should be, check out 10 Web Booster. Uh, they'll optimize your site with a simple click and they have other services as well. All right, thanks for watching. My name is Steph.